what's up guys hope everyone's having a good day so lately i've been on like a old school not you're not even really old school but like kind of old school like an old gucci man binge like i've listened to all his old shit that he dropped while he was in prison um and at that time i don't know if anybody remembers this but he was dropping a lot of material literally every other week it seemed like he had a new mixtape out and he dropped easily close to 200 songs over that three-year period from 2013 to 2016 and um man i had forgot how hard this shit was compared to his new post-prison output it is just so much better it's not even close it's not even in the same ballpark of uh quality and amazing songs and listen today i want to i want to talk about one of the hardest songs he's ever put out and I don't even think this was originally his song um, because after doing some research and trying to find the lyrics online, which by the way, the lyrics are all fucked up on Genius and everywhere else you look. And a lot of his old stuff, the lyrics are fucked up. Um, but it's called, on, on when he dropped it, on the lunch mixtape, he did a breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, all I think they all dropped the same day. And on the lunch section of it, he had this song with Trinidad James and he called it Gucci Man and Trinidad. But the song was originally called No Hook. And I think it was originally Trinidad James's song because he does the chorus on it and he has the second verse. But man, this shit is hard as fuck. Like Gucci, <laughs> I miss the ruthless Gucci, man. He, was, he, he goes, uh, he has a line where he's like, um, she could have a fat ass like Stacey Dash. I'll still throw her number in the trash. I was like, shit. And then, uh, <laughs> He goes, is she an ugly bitch? She get a paper bag. If she a fat bitch, she get a paper plate. This shit was it, man. The lines are crazy as fuck. And then, listen, I'm not even like a big Trinidad James fan, but he comes in and the hook is hard as fuck. He does the hook, like I said. And then he comes out on the second verse. And he just goes fucking crazy. Like, um, it, it's unbelievable. Uh, his verse was crazy too. There was one line though that Trinidad James has on it that is a little confusing and if anyone could clarify it for me like like i said the lyrics are fucked up online i don't know exactly what they mean but this motherfucker says something about these bitches love me these guys are hating or something like that and then he goes uh i need a bisexual bisexual um and then he kind of says um I can't fuck with a hoe if she bi if she's not bisexual or something. But it kind of the line kind of sounds like he's talking about like he's bisexual or something, or like he's into guys and girls or something. Very confusing line, but the verse was still hard as fuck. I'm telling you, man. So um, go check that song out if you if you if you go to YouTube and you type in uh, Gucci Man in Trinidad, it should be like the first or second song on there. And um, the beat is hard as fuck. I think Shorty Red produced it who's produced a lot of stuff with uh, Jeezy and a lot of stuff with Gucci too. But man, these verses and the beat is fucking bananas, man. Like so much better than the shit he's been dropping in the last like couple years or whatever. Four years, five years. Like the hardest shit was during that, in my opinion, was during that uh, time when he was in prison and shit. Because um, his post-prison stuff, like I said, is just terrible. Man, go check that song out. Hard as fuck. That's the Gucci man type of shit that I love, man. So uh, thank you guys for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do that. Leave me a comment. What do you think the hardest Gucci Man song is of all time? Thank you guys. Talk to you later.